Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, for today's video, I wanted to do a USA haul. Um, well, I forgot my bag over there. <laughs> but yeah, um, if you watched my last video, I told you guys about my trip. I went to Florida during the hurricane. Um, but I also went to Vermont um, a couple weeks ago. So I just like took all the stuff together for one video because um yeah it just seemed like it'd be faster that way so let me get my products so i put them all in this alta bag but they're actually from a few different stores so what i got were things like i thought were a good deal um or that i can't get in canada because the conversion rate is horrible so i can't just go and buy all willy-nilly um because i will end up spending more money than i would if i bought them in canada so these are some things that i found that were either i really just wanted them or they were a good deal um and i always take advantage of going to alta when i go to the states because we don't have alta in canada and yeah there's a few drugstore products we don't get either so yeah i guess i'll just should i start with the drugstore because that's what I can see right away and by drugstore it could also mean like Walmart or Target because I don't even remember where I got all of this stuff now I think I only have two things from the drugstore um, so the first thing I got is the physician's formula refresh mist cucumber and bamboo facial spray with SPF 20. I've never seen this product in Canada and I don't think it's new so I think we just don't get it here because of the SPF. Um, but yeah I really wanted a facial spray that had SPF in it because I want to put um, SPF on like after I already put my makeup on a lot of the times because I don't always use an SPF um, before like during my skincare routine so I saw this one and it was I think it was kind of cheap I don't really remember but yeah um, so I got this and I wanted to use this also I plan on doing a video of like full face of physicians that's hard to say a full face of physicians formula um, but I didn't have a spray from them so I thought this would be a good one they do have like a, a I think it's called insta ready another facial spray but I haven't heard like anyone ever talk about it so I didn't just want to buy it and it's not even good whereas like I know like I'll get use out of this anyway so that's why I got this um, Oh, I also got another face spray, um, but this one's from Trader Joe's, so I'll just include it here. It's the Rose Water Facial Toner to hydrate and refresh. I actually used this already, and I really like it. It's not like sickingly rosy scented. It's actually really nice. Um, and I've seen like people I watch on YouTube have used like one of these whole bottles up, so I think it's it should be good um and then i got the milani soft soft and sultry eyeshadow palette this one so for some reason this was on clearance i think it was at target um and i was kind of scared because like usually in canada at the drugstore if something's on clearance it's because like it's broken <laughs> or someone like put their hands in it but this was like sealed and everything so I got it for eleven eighty eight, which I think is pretty good because I believe the Milani eyeshadow palettes are like 30 maybe 35 dollars Canadian so I would never buy them here because that's like a Sephora price but yeah I really had my eye on these and I heard a lot of good things so it looks like this really nice um, hard packaging and it's this these are the shades so it's a very like cool tone smoky palette and I don't really have anything else like this I mean I 
sure I have these shades like spread out throughout different palettes, but I don't have a palette like with this color story, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, I'm really excited to play with this. I want to do another full face of drugstore makeup um, video because the first one I did, you guys really liked it. So yeah, I think this would be a good one to use in that video. I think everything else here is from Ulta and one thing is from Sephora so I'll just show you that now um, I got the Too Faced Shake Your Pom Poms eyeshadow palette because I couldn't resist it <laughs> um, I've heard a lot of good things about these palettes like some people say they're even better like the mini ones are even better than their big size palettes so it has the same like tin packaging as like the chocolate bar palette or the sweet peach palette so these are the shades here um yeah i this is like my kind of tones so i'm excited about this and this like olive green shade looks really nice too and I swatched these in the store and this brown is amazing I hope it works that way on the eyes but yeah after I swatched it I was like I might as well just get it and this is um, $25 US but these are $34 in Canada so I thought I might as well like I already have the US money so <laughs> might as well just spend all my money I don't know but yeah, I did go to the Sephora in the Aventura Mall in um, Florida, which is a really nice mall, by the way. Very huge. Um, you could get lost in there, but yeah. I also went to the Morphe store. Might as well tell you this now. Um, because it was actually like right across from the Sephora, and I've never been to a Morphe store in my life. And I've only seen like a few of the products in real life because now they carry them at the Sephora in like near where I live. But um, I really wanted to smell the Jeffree Star, what do you call it? Continuous Setting Mist because it's apparently like the same product as their regular setting mist but it's supposed to smell like strawberries or something. But it smelled awful. Like I don't even know how they prove that it smells like plastic and just bad <laughs> I was actually gonna buy it because I can't get it here but after I smelled it I was like oh no I don't want this <laughs> but yeah it was a really cool experience to see a Morphe store and I thought it was weird that they sold um, Manny MUA's brand there Lunar Beauty and they also had Iconic London and Suva Beauty. I had no idea like any of those brands were related, so that was kind of cool like to see them. But they're very pricey, so I'm, I would never buy them in the US because I'd just lose out on money if I did that. So yeah, but I got to see the menu, um, what's it called? The Lunar Beauty Strawberry Dreams palette, which was like catching my eye. But after seeing it in person, like, it's very expensive for what it is, I think. And I'm not even, like, subscribed to him. So I wouldn't buy it just because I'm not, like, a huge fan anyway. So why spend all the money, you know what I mean? Not, like, no shade to him, but just, like, it's too expensive. And I have enough palettes, <laughs> as you will see shortly. So, um, the rest of these things are from Ulta, I believe. I feel like there's even more, but I've already put it away, maybe. But the first thing I got was the Body Shop Banana Shower Cream. This here. This smells delightful. I love bananas. Well, I love the smell of bananas. And this was on sale, so I got it. <laughs> that's that story um, and I need a new shower gel soon so I decided to pick that one up and I also got oh yeah there is something else not in this bag um, 
I, I'll get it after. But I got two lip products at Ulta because they were having like a sale on L'Oreal. So there was a sale like on the products and then you got like little free things. So I did that. I got this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick from the Macaron Collection. And this is in the shade uh, Praline de Paris. So I actually got this because of Kathleen Lights. She, I think it was in one of her favorites videos maybe I don't remember but she was saying like how she didn't think she would like this color but then she ended up loving it and she got a lot of compliments on it so yeah this is a Kathleen Lights influenced purchase but this is the shade here it's like um it is quite unique actually it's like a pink but it's rosier but not like so rosy that it's like, how do I say? Like it still has a brightness to it, is what I'm trying to say. And when shades are too rosy, I finally don't look good on me. Like they make me look older. I don't know if that's just me. But yeah, I really like this shade. At least the way it looks. I haven't worn it yet on my lips, so we'll find out. Um, the other L'Oreal product that I got is this. This I was keeping in my purse. What I don't know what this is called anymore because oh Color Riche Plump and Shine in Nectarine Plump. So this is I think one of their newer products. Th so that's the shade but it's like a, a sheer like balmy kind of product so it doesn't go on like super orange. Um, but yeah, I really like those kind of shades and yeah, it's like a good product to just have in your purse because you don't really need to see it since it's so sheer and it just feels really nice on the lips. So I got that and I think because I got those two products, they gave me um, a sample of the, what is this? <laughs> Rouge Signature Matte Colored Ink. So that's the little box. I feel like L'Oreal just keeps coming out with more and more lip products. That's what the product looks like, the full size. But I got this um, little sample, which is still like a lot of product. What's this here? And this shade is, it's like the true red shade. It's called I Am Worth It. I didn't need another red liquid lipstick, but <laughs> it's fun to try a new formula. It looks like the same kind of applicator as the other product. And it's really nice. That's it's like a true like blue tone red. Yeah, I really like those shades, so. That's fun. I'm back. I had to recharge my battery, so I don't really remember where I was. But well, let's just keep going because there's more products. Oh, the other thing I got from Ulta was the e.l.f. Uh, Poreless Putty Primer. So everyone is saying this is a dupe for the Tatcha Luminous, what is it called? I have a sample of it actually. Uh, the Silk Canvas. <laughs> this here. So apparently this is a dupe and this was like very affordable. I don't remember the price of these things unfortunately, but um, yeah, you can check on Alta's website. So it looks like this. And there it is. So um, as far as I can tell, yeah, it does look the same. If you can see, that's the sample. Um, I have used this before, but I've only used it once, I think. So I don't really have like a full review on it, but 
I am interested in these like pore filling primers that are more like this thick texture because I feel like that would stay better uh, because for me where I would put it is like right here and like on the sides of my nose that's where my pores are the most visible so it needs to like really stay under the makeup and right now the only other thing I have is the um the benefit professional which is more like that silicone lotion feel so yeah I'll compare the two and see how it is and if this is really good then get this one because the Tatcha one is like very expensive I don't even remember how much but yeah you might as well get it cheaper if you can if you're looking for that type of product oh I actually have another thing from Ulta because that stuff was from um, when I went to Vermont but I did go to Ulta again in Florida and I got this I am super excited about this. This is the Sugar Pill Fun Size Mini Color Palette. And it has a cute little 8-bit kitty on it. It has the colors in the back. So I was really excited when I saw this because I didn't know that they sold Sugar Pill in store in Ulta. And I think to get this in Canada, I would have to pay like duties and shipping and all that. So... I thought I might as well get it because I've always wanted to try sugar pill eyeshadows. Everyone raves about them. So this is what the palette looks like. It has a mirror here. It says level up your makeup and these are the shades. I don't have anything like this. Um, this is pretty colorful for me but when I look at it, it is kind of like inspiring for me especially like these four shades here these like orangey and pink shades I think I would get a lot of use out of those and I love the names like this one's called cheat code this one is 8-bit player one so it's all like video game things which I am super into um, and sugar pill is known to have like the best like colorful shadows so I'm excited to try this um, it says cruelty free paraben free and gluten free that's the back yeah I really like this and I'm glad that I found it there so if you want to see like a look with this palette let me know I don't know what I would do with these shades I'd have to look at some like photos or something because I'm not like I say in every video I'm not a makeup artist so it's hard for me like when something is so like unique like this to know what to do with it but yeah it's fun nonetheless so that was yes that was the last thing from Ulta and I forgot that I had two other things from Sephora this one actually my mom bought me because she bought one for herself also because I did bring one of these with me on my trip um, and I really like this it had I thought it had like bad ratings on Sephora but actually I think this like saved my skin because like I said um, did I say it in this video no I said it in my last video <laughs> um, I did get a burn on the second day I was there and I was worried that my forehead would start peeling because like the burn was like very much right here and I used this and I don't know the next day my skin was so like soft and plump so yeah I think this is a really good mask for um people with dry skin because it is called I actually don't really understand this product it's called the two-in-one oil mask and you only leave it on for one minute um, and unlike other masks, there's no, well, there is eye holes, but there's flaps so that you're supposed to put it on your eye too, but it's with organic aloe vera oil. So that's why I brought it with me because I thought it'd be good to have aloe vera, um, to put on after I was in the sun and yeah, it did really work very well. So I'm going to use this one soon, uh, to prevent like any peeling 
because my skin is already dry and peely to begin with so when I get a sunburn it get it could get really bad so yeah I thought I'd mention that and I also got these Sephora glycolic acid glow peel pads um, I think I've mentioned before I'm looking for a dupe to my first aid beauty I think they're called radiance peel pads because I don't know what's going on, but Sephora keeps raising the price of those and now they're $42 for 60 pads. And I just think that's the, I don't know. I have a hard time spending money on something that like you throw away, like it's disposable, like you use it once, you throw it out. And I use peel pads like quite often, so I don't find that's worth it. And I think it's wasteful, but I still bought <laughs> more. But this is like a travel size version. I think it was $7 US and there's 20 pads in here. Because um, the ones I'm using now, which I'm almost done with, are the Clean and Clear uh, Exfoliating Slices. They look like lemons, super cute. The only thing is this smells so strong like I choke when I put it on but it really works so <laughs> that's why I haven't gotten rid of them um, there were 45 in here and I think this is $12 but usually clean and clear is on sale so yeah but I wouldn't suggest those ones for the scent alone so I'm gonna try out these and see how I like them um, yeah, I really like using exfoliating pads because like I just said, my skin is super dry and peely and if I don't use something like this over time, like it just gets more and more dull. So yeah, I'm really hoping these ones work. It says 99% ingredients from natural origin and this is the new like line from Sephora that if it's good, it could be quite promising because they have um, like a vitamin C serum and another exfoliating cleanser that I want to try and it's pretty affordable for having like good ingredients in it so I'll keep you updated on those oh there was one more thing that I think is like the best deal I've ever gotten I will show you okay so I got this this is a brush set, obviously. Um, I don't know what this brand is. It's called Polished Beauty Supply, but it's like polished with a apostrophe D. Guess where I got this? At Barnes & Noble. I don't know. I went to Barnes & Noble in Vermont and they had like a clearance section that was actually insane. Everything was $2 and this was in there. And I was like, oh, it was the only one there. I was like, that must be a mistake. How can this be $2? Because there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine brushes in here, two like full size sponges and two mini sponges. Um, so I brought it to the cash and I was like, I don't know if I'm going to get this, but can you tell me like how much it is? She's like, oh yeah, it's two bucks. I was like, what? That's like crazy because even if like I only like one of the brushes from here, that's still like an amazing deal because brushes are really expensive and I actually took them out of the box and they do actually feel really nice and like sturdy. So... I'm very shocked about this and I think like this brush here this one is like a jumbo dual fiber brush I think that's gonna be my new favorite concealer um, bronzer brush so I'm really excited I found this even at the cash the girl was like oh is there more of those I was like no sorry it's the last one so I'm excited to use these because I was looking for more eyeshadow brushes like fluffy ones and a bronzer brush so yeah this is very promising um, obviously the true test with brushes is after you wash them do they like fall apart immediately then they're not good but we'll see I'll start using them 
Um, I don't know if, like, I'll try and find, like, if you can possibly get this somewhere. Maybe on this brand's website. I have no idea. But I just thought that was crazy and I had to show you guys. So, yeah. That was everything I got in the U.S. It's a lot of things. <laughs> And I know I said in my last haul that I was saving money. Well, I guess I'm not. But, um, I do have another haul video because I bought some things, some pretty exciting things from the Sephora Summer Sale. So I want to show you guys those products as well. And then I want you to let me know what you want me to do a video on. So... Because there's like so many things here that now I'm like overwhelmed and I don't even know where to start. So if you want to leave a comment below like what you want to see, um, just yeah, please do. So I hope you like this video and if you did, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!